All right, so I have added the one teaspoon of butter. I'm currently melting this into my pan. I'm doing this on my phone because I can pause that. The only thing is, is that the recording itself is not likely to be as neat as I'd like it. However, I do not have editing software with which to edit my videos. So, neither do I have money to get it. We try and do this one handed. This is one Polish sausage. Now I'm going to add in the potatoes. Here we have our potatoes. Now normally um, you would add your potatoes first and then do whatever else you're doing um, after you've cooked meat, of course. This meat, however, is already cooked and potatoes are going to take a while to cook um, as opposed to everything else that goes in there. However, there are some things that we want to be cooked a little bit more um, and get the flavor into the potatoes. So that's what I'm going to do next. Essentially, know your rules before you break them. I am also going to pause this because I cannot do them both at the same time. I have mixed in my bean sprouts. And now I'm going in with the tomatoes. Bell peppers. I also added in my carrots already. But that is more of a personal decision because I don't digest certain things well, so they have to be cooked more. There's my onion. gonna sh save the shallots until um, we've simmered this for a bit uh, because their flavor just works. So I'm going to take this massive pile of stuff that needs to cook down. You know, Tim and Jen got in your microwave after ours broke down. It's right there. so excited that it broke that I rearranged parts of the kitchen. Now whenever I'm not using it, this goes on top of the refrigerator, so... Cool. Okay. Got this nice and mixed in. Now, at some point, I may need to add some water to this. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to make sure that my temperature is good. And then I'm going to pause this. Naturally. Ah, I forgot this part. Now, you did go clean things off while that was paused. And that is just me being clumsy. Alright. I have never used broccoli leaves before. But as I was reading up on it, you basically cook it like spinach. Or, I was thinking though that I actually want to try wrapping some meat up in it. But that's not tonight. I did read that the stems are good for some things as well. Um, but the actual base of the plant, big stem, are good for, say, compost. I don't know if this part is good for compost. All I know is that you can eat it 
and I'm putting it in. Love what, dear? Mom. I love you too. Come off the broccoli leaves. Yeah, I'm breaking them up. Why, you want to eat them whole? No. That reminds me. I also need to. What? If I want to add rosemary, now's the time to do it. Probably not that much rosemary, though. What's this? That's the time. Time? Yes. Time is neutral, right? Yes. Not to be confused with the time you have left to play outside. Before the sun goes down. And dinner's on the table. I'm just breaking up the time a little bit. I just want to... Kind of release some of the flavor. I don't necessarily need it to be all broke up, all small, or smaller. No. No. Christopher, the patio is not big enough, and I'm not watching you out front right now. One. What? I said no. Two. I wasn't supposed to be the sort of thing that was supposed to end up in this. Anyway, I'm gonna mix in the thyme. Don't really need a lot. Not whenever it's fresh anyway. Um, all right, so now I'm going to keep breaking this up. Once it's in there, I can't take it out. Anyway, I'm just going to tear these up and add them like I would spinach. And I'm going to pause this because you really don't want to sit there and watch me do this. This is almost out and I don't feel like cutting things right now. Uh, especially as I don't cut things while he's outside. Um, at least not while he's over there. So. I put some water in here to kind of help get the rest of it out. Two birds, one stone. Oops. Can't do that again. Sorry. Uh, that's it. I got most of my garlic out. I've got the water that I need in here. Got some basil over here. Some fresh chopped up basil. And Alright, turned it up a little, putting the lid on it, and now we wait. Oh yes, it's not and now we wait, it's and now we wait. So if we want this to cook up like spinach, it is a little more dense than spinach, um, or a little thicker, I should say. Um, these leaves aren't as thin as some other leaves um, tend to be, so I'm going to mix this in. You know what, forget. I'll just do the shallots now, too. This is not a dish where... That stuff matters as much. Um, this is a frickin' dish that also looks pretty. A one. 
again. Monstrosity. That I can very easily put on warm for later or put in the fridge and reheat afterwards. And it reheats well. So, because Jean's not going to be home till later tonight. He's the day off tomorrow, but tonight he's going to be home probably around or shortly after around Chris's bedtime. So he's going to come home, he's going to tuck in kiddo, and he's going to eat some food, and then he's just going to collapse on the bed. <laughs> this is a dish that is good for that. It's also good for just... Yeah, I still have to be nearby to stir it, of course, but my attention can be elsewhere. And uh, dishes like that are very important when... What are you doing? As I was saying, it is... I don't have very good vision, so... I need to be able to pay very close attention to what I'm doing whenever I'm cutting things. So I prepared my stuff while he was at a friend's house. And there you go. Or he'll be playing in a bit, or he'll be play he won't be outside. Chris, you know you're not supposed to go back there. Do it again and you're coming inside. <sighs> I wish I could edit that out. <laughs> so many bloopers would be had. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible and hopefully my phone won't break this up into two. What, dear? Basically, I have to make sure that he is safe before, every, you know, and not in need of... Not something I might have to immediately intervene with at any given moment. Well, just stirred. Lid back on. Soy sauce. Not too much because our sausage already adds some soda to our dip. A little bit of lime juice. Take your bath, okay? Chris, do you need me to turn that off for you? Now, not much, but we want to use a little bit of fish sauce in here. Tiny bit of fig vinegar. Of salt. A mixture of peppercorns, can you use black pepper? Um, I think ours is like three different peppercorns. It's one of the only things that we uh, don't go out of our way to go to the dollar store as far as spices go because it just works with everything. It uses um, black, white, green, and pink peppercorns, so more than three. That's before I mix it. So you can see it's kind of softening up, cooking up. Our goal is to get everything in here to work with everything that we put into it and also kind of create 
a sort of nice sauce. I might actually put a bouillon in that, just to kind of give the sauce a little bit more of um, a meaty flavor. But I also might not. It honestly depends on what people feel like. I'll ask it whenever he gets out of the bath, if he gets done in time. You can basically season this dish basically any way that you really want to. And it depends entirely on... It's just an easy dish to put to your specifications. This is curry powder. I don't want to put as much of this in there. It gives it um, a nice element of flavor there. But too much of it is just going to make it feel like somebody's tongue is being burnt off. And keto is not for overly hot, spicy food. This should at least get it close to the kind of flavor that we want it to be. Polish sausage um, goes very well with shallots. Shallots have a sort of sweet flavor whenever they're cooked. Um, and that should go pretty well with this. Alright, I'm going to leave the lid off for a little bit. And... to have this on the highest setting and I'm gonna try and kind of boil off some of the water cook off some of the water um, so that we can kind of brown it up I may have added a little bit too much water but we shall see a uh, real quick thing I think I'm actually going to add in mushrooms because I totally forgot that we have some that need to be used today and uh jane loves mushrooms so if you're going to add mushrooms you probably need to do it about now um i wouldn't do it earlier because unlike with the stuff that you want to have like cooked down like the leaves you can kind of see how it looks a lot like spinach in here um mushrooms will cook down into nothing and they don't really look like anything it, it doesn't look good and uh, also, you cook out basically your nutrients there, so they're usually last ingredient. Maybe I should have used more um, broccoli leaves. They really cook down. Wasn't sure they'd cook down that far. Alright. Mix these in. And I have to mix it periodically. Just turn those on whenever I am. Tasted it, need two hands. Doing that helps um, lodge them out whenever they get stuck. I took to kind of doing an automatic thing because we get the cheap ones. And uh, things get stuck in those more easily. Uh, 
That's more of the pepper. Finish up in the bath, Chris. It is important to know that this is not a heavily seasoned dish and that if you want it to have a stronger flavor, you will need more seasoning. We're adding cheese to it. So, it is a topping after it's done cooking rather than mixed in. Although you can mix it in. You can even add a little bit of milk and kind of make it into like a sauce. But it doesn't always go as well with the curry combo. So we're just going to put some sharp cheddar on top when it's done. All right, so I've tasted it and we're good. You know, before the cheese on top. So I have placed the lid on it. And now we wait roughly at this point. I haven't even been saying the times, have I? Well, suffice to say, it would be a lot shorter if I wasn't uh, constantly having to do other things. <laughs> so, it can vary. This can take a little while, depending on what temperature you have things on. Um, if you want it to kind of get more of a crispy um, potato, you know, like breakfast, hash, um, you would not add a bunch of water to it. Um, you might still need to add some at points um, just to stop it from burning while you get everything else done. However, that's also possible that you won't need to do that. It also depends on how much. This... I filled up this. So... It can also depend on the amount that you're making in the pan that you're making. Um, however, if you're just making this for you and a couple other people, it would be pretty easy to just get everything nice and crisp, you know, like crispy, or at least get a nice golden brown, um, golden brown on the potatoes. And you would want to do that before you add the other ingredients, um, or at least start on it. Just Cook it until you get just the barest, barest minimum where you can just start to see some of the potatoes do that. And then you would kind of like slowly add them at intervals. But you would also like, well, no. I can't tell you to do that because I didn't show you how to do that. <laughs> There's a trick to it. Oh. Just eat it or you're not getting any more. Okay. It's done. We got out some paper plates that we get at Dollar Tree. Keep going, Chris. That's one. <laughs> 